Hey, what is up everyone? This is Radioactive Ra SNG continuing this playthrough of Jet Set Radio HD for the PS3. Last time we left off, we started off this game, got introduced to it, uh, basically recruited Gum and Tab on our team. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be going through our first real mission of this game, pretty much. Um, so before we begin, I would like Techshaw to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 35 likes. And also, I'm doing a giveaway for this game. Uh, make sure to check out the first part of this LP if you haven't already um, to go ahead and enter into that giveaway. Um, the more likes we get on that, the more I will give away. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. So without further ado, why don't we get this started? We're going back into Shibuya Cho. Going to be doing uh, Love Trap in this episode. And I'm going to try and do a second one, which will probably be this stage. What is it? No, not Benton Boogie. This one, yeah. The Monster Kogane. So that's what I'm going to try and do next. We'll see how that goes. So uh, let's get this going. We're going to be doing Love Trap right now. Oh, yeah. So uh, one thing I want to bring up right here, actually, is that I want y'all to choose who am I going to play with in these episodes. So make sure to comment down below who would you like to see me kind of play with. Because I'm going to be lock unlocking the other characters in this game too. So that'll, I guess, give y'all more choices to, uh, for me to play with. But in this episode, I will be playing with my favorite character in this game. And that is Gum. So, um, yeah, we're going to be playing with Gum. Um, as you can see, her her uh, stats are pretty good. Uh, mainly her graffiti. Her, um, I guess if you're more of a experienced character, you're going to be better with her. Because uh, her, her techniques are a little more complex than like say tab and beat like hers are more complex so yeah she's more i think for the experienced player so we're gonna be going into shibuya um park street want to flirt with the love shockers find the red arrows and start spraying all right so here we go all right so fun fact about the love shockers when i was younger um i actually found them kind of attractive i don't know why but yeah um, I actually think they're still they look they still look pretty awesome. So a lot of people think that they're ugly for some reason. I don't know why. I always see that, and I'm just like, man, Lord are right. they're, 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 they're they're awesome, especially in Jet Set uh, Future. Like they actually like their redesign is beautiful. All right, so for some reason there's a health right there. I'm not gonna grab that because I don't need it. I don't need it. All right, so let's get this right here. Onishima is already here. Are you kidding me? this dude all right so my only complaint with this stage is i don't think this should be the first real stage of this game i feel like like even some of the later stages i guess you do get a choice but i do feel like um like most people are going to come to this stage because of shibuya on their first uh run of this game and i feel like this shouldn't be your first stage like it really shouldn't be um, just because of the amount of uh actual graffiti just like out here and stuff i think this stage has like 13 or something and then other stages have like maybe eight or nine or something like that. It's like less than this. I don't know. Like I don't think this should be like that. The first stage, like the first real stage, maybe might be just me. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, Park Street, or some people call it Shibuya Playground because it's a playground too. Uh, I'm not really sure what to call it, so I'm just gonna call it Park Street because um, the police chief calls it that, so that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm not really sure what this stage is called, but you can actually run this guy over. You can spray him. I, for some reason, it's harder to spray him in this game than on the original um, Dreamcast version. Like, you could actually just spray him and knock him over. It was pretty funny, but in this game, it's so hard to do it. I don't know why. Maybe they just, like, fixed that hitbox or something for it. I'm not sure, but it took me, like, a bunch of tries to actually pull it off in this version. But, yeah, why don't we get headed upwards? Um, I'm going to try and take out these up here. Oh, not bad, not bad. Oh man, these guys are here already? Are you kidding me? I was hoping I could get more of this stuff done before they got here, but you know, it is what it is. You know, so it's it's whatever. I'm just gonna continue taking out all this stuff. Did I get it? Did I? Oh, come on. Get the heck out of here. I feel like I'm not getting it. Yeah, okay, I did. Okay, cool. Alright, so. Why don't we get moving upward? This guy can't catch me too fast. All right, so you got to be careful with this dude of that shotgun. You know they say if you if you're running, then bullets can't hurt you. That's BS. Like get back, get get out of here. Really? I can't get up there. Okay. Yeah. I guess get a little lower. There we go. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. 
All right, so you can only hold up to 15 of these things, so I really need to stop grabbing them all. They do respawn, but um, you don't want to have to wait for, for that reason. So here we go. And like I said, um, a lot of Gum's um, techniques are a little more complex. So, yeah, I don't recommend playing with it right off the bat like I am if you're new to this game. Like, I would tell you, um, play with B, maybe Tab. Tab is, uh, I think, a little more simplistic, but I think he's too easy, in my opinion. His techniques are way too easy for a beginner. Like, you're not really going to learn much playing with him. It's just like his are like up, down, maybe a, a, a spin here and there. It's like, I don't think you're really going to learn much with him. So I would just tell you, like, play with B. Like, B is perfect for that, I guess. Alright, so I don't want to keep using up all these. Um, I guess I'll take out these down here. Like, these are usually kind of annoying to get. So why don't we just take care of these first, and then I'll go back up there and take care of that other one. And just like that, that is taken care of. Well, okay. That's great. Gotta love when you turn your camera and there's a car coming. Please, go away. No, no. These dudes are just like standing there like, okay. I don't even care. I'm gonna take these hits. There we go. So that is taken care of. Uh, why don't we go back? Gotta be careful with these dudes. When they say ready aim, you want to get moving. You don't want to stop for any reason because they start dropping these these uh, tear gas on you. And that actually takes a lot of damage. Like it doesn't look like it does, but after taking a certain amount of it, it just starts to really be noticeable. You know? There we go. Let me get that health right there. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, these haven't respawned. Like I said, the uh, the spray bottles do respawn after a certain amount of time. So, yeah. You want to just, like, try... You want to have to be patient with that. For some reason, I've never really been sure what makes them... Uh, the amount of time for them to come back. Because they just appear when they want, it looks like. Alright, so... Alright, so I think we only have three left. We're looking good. The stage isn't that hard. Like, not at all. It's just like, if you're your first time, I think you're going to have a problem with it, so. Oh, these guys are shooting something at me. Okay, here we go. I think I can get past this without getting... Please. Come on. We're almost there. One more. Oh, one more then. Okay. That's the problem with beat. I mean, gum. Because, uh, like, her, her stuff is, like, so complex to the point where you get a lot of points. That's why I say she's for experienced players. You get a lot of points, but it takes longer to actually like finish up her uh, combos and stuff. That's why I, I recommend playing with B. B is definitely that guy. But I really love the song that's actually playing right now. Like the music on this stage is actually really good. So it's like perfect for this environment. Whoa! What the heck was this? Okay, that's great. Stuff like this always happens to me. All right, let's get back. That would, I would just fly over that, wouldn't I? Take it on this one. Oh, yeah. So, um, I think we only have like two more left. So let's go take care of that, and I think we're done. Let's get inside. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, so we're looking pretty good on the stage. Like, we might be able to get a jet ring. The stage is just like really, there's just so many of these things, you have to move around a lot, so. And I'm just screwing up. <laughs> Alright, so. Let me see how I climb up here. So this uh, rail right there, there we go. Alright, so. We're gonna have to wall jump right here. Don't try and jump over it normally, or don't try and get on that crane. I don't recommend doing either of those things, you just wanna wall jump right here. And, just like that. Let's get, this let's get this one. And we only have these two left, I think. So let's take care of these. There we go. And the faster you do these, the more points you get. What? Did they get on this side? Please, get away. I think I can get these last ones on this one. If I don't screw up... So come on. Come on. Come on. We got this. Oh man, I screwed up. Okay. So I'm gonna just have to go back and get some more spray cans, so I'll be right back. Alright, 
Let's get moving back this way. Alright, so we're back right here. Um, let me finish up this stage. I think we only had like one freaking set left. I had to go get some more spray cans for. And just like that, we probably got like a turbo or something. I screwed up. Yeah, nitro. Okay, that's good. Not bad. I think, like if you want, um, like the only incentive to get a jet rank, which is the A rank. I'm going to let this play right quick. We're gonna blast your blues with a burst of pure sound. This is your very own One Punch Knockout Broadcaster, Jet Set Radio. Which one of you punks wanna step in the ring? Shibuya Cho got some love letters on the wall from them lonely lovers, but they were raised before Mama could see them. But now they've gone away somewhere. Will they just purge to have some fun, or is this some new game they're playing? Territory is a territory. Territory is a territory. Territory is a territory. Alright, so there we go. Territory is a territory. Gotta love this theme. Alright, so, um, like I said, we're gonna try and do two in this episode. So, um, do I want to do Benton or Kagane? I think I said I was gonna do Kogane in this episode, but Benton is actually really beautiful. Y'all get to see it. So, this is Kogane Cho. This is the sunset area of Tokyo To. Um, this is obviously the daytime part. Um, Shibuya is the daytime part that we just came from. Kogane is sunset. But then Benton is nighttime. So, yeah. Like, I really like that about this game, how that works. So, why don't we get going to Kogane Cho? And yeah, like I said, we're going to be playing with uh, gum in this episode. So, why don't we continue on? It's on. It is on. All right. All right, so here we go. This is Kogane. Just outside of our turf. The cops are onto us. Don't let them get you. Look out for the red arrows and start spraying. And I actually like that little cutscene right there because they're like, get back here, come here. And you just like escape. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, so um, Kogane, this area is actually really easy. You can easily get a jet rank on it if uh, you don't screw up, which I usually do, especially for parties. So. This area is like really, you can finish the stage so fast. It's not even funny. All right, so there's two different ways to actually get here, but I recommend taking this long way. Um, you just destroy everything in your path like this. It's so funny. There you go. And just like that, uh, we, we need to get on this side of town, but if you take the other way, um, you just have to wall jump, basically. It's pretty easy. Um, but I want to get some, some uh, spray, so that's why I did that. Obviously, you could take this way right here. Um, let's see. Yeah, look, it's right here. Uh, you can just wall jump to the other side, and you're done. But I want to take that long way, show y'all that. So why don't we get moving? Um, this is just the general area, you know, it's just where people hang out and um, I would recommend in this area not to actually take out these little ones first. You want to take care of these big ones where you see these uh, big blue guys. Where are they? I think he's around this corner right here. Yeah, look, he's right here. So you want to take out these guys. Uh, good thing you want to bump these guys too because they drop the red, the blue ones, which give you five spray cans. So make sure you bump into them, get you some easy spray paint and uh, yeah. Let's keep, let's keep it moving. So like I said, we're going to try and take out these big ones first. And then we'll come back for these little ones. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So that the little ones, we can literally just pass by. And I have a reason for doing that. Uh, Y'all get to see when the uh, police get here. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I recommend doing what I'm doing right here. Just taking out these big ones. Right, here we go, here we go. Get these points. Getting these points. Easy, easy points. Uh, you should easily be able to get a jet rank in my opinion on the stage. If I don't, it's because I'm screwing around or something. Not really sure. But let's get all of these. Right we just keep going around the little circle right here. Uh, here, nope, that ain't it. Okay, what the heck is it? Maybe I passed it. I'm pretty sure I passed it up. Okay, so yeah, we're just going around the circle again. I must have missed it. Yep, that's the reason why right there. I'm supposed to be able to have all that done, and I've been screwing around, so yeah. It's right here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Let's take out this big one before, the, before these dogs get here. Get, can you not? Get out of here. Oh, cool. I didn't even have to take any damage for that. Please, no. What the heck? Get the heck out of here. Alright, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna 
Let's start taking out these little ones now. Looking good, looking good. The dogs, they give up after, on you after a while, so you really don't have to worry about the dogs too much. Unless you screwed up like I just did. But for the most part, you should be good. And just like that, here come the helicopters. Yeah, they're, they're really aggressive on this stage, so you have to be on your toes and pretty fast on this stage. And there we go. Did we get that jet? Did we get it? Please. Oh, come on. What the heck? Okay, so that does it for that. Um, yeah, okay. Scratching. This is your very own Gorilla Broadcaster, Jet Set Radio! Use this city as your canvas and paint us some vibes from the street. And now for our local news. While the GGs were busy going after Kogane Cho, their faithful pup, Pot, was kidnapped! Oh yeah, the blue dog that you always see in the uh, garage. Huh? I wonder how much ransom you get for a dog. The case out to is staying out of this one, so y'all better keep an eye on your own dogs too! And by the way, the ko kosatsu means uh, police in Japanese. They haven't seen a good slasher flick in months. And after the action in Kogane Cho, they're out for revenge. He's facing a bloodbath here. Better put on your garlic, These are just chasing birds away. On the brow. <laughs> that kind of dances that. Alright, so that pretty much does it for this episode. Next time, we'll be going through Ben Tencho and I think unlocking the next character. I'm not sure when the next character decides to challenge you, so I think it's after Ben Tencho. Uh, let's see what the name of the stage is. Oh, here comes a rival. Yeah, so here he is right here. Uh, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be going against him today. I'll do it in the next episode, so make sure to uh, check out the next episode, and I'll show y'all how to beat this guy and uh, whatnot. So, yeah. We'll be doing that in the next episode, and we will be going through Benton Show. This is called Benton Boogie, going through our first nighttime stage in this game. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And until then, peace out. You have a good night.